correctly so she has that belief. Ooh, Mary Brasha comes out with the opening strike. Are you kidding me on the dead run with the ball behind her? Uh, that's the way to start. How about that shot to match? Cross court passing beauty, one nothing. Yeah, and you can see the just by the clothing selections here how the one zero. Weather is affecting the players. I mean, Catherine bundled up over there. Point. Mary Brasha storming out to a hot start. Yeah, and letting the forehand be the difference maker here. This is a lady that can find all the angles on the court, moves extremely well. Two zero. Point. Oh, gets a miss from Catherine here, so. I mentioned she might need to get off to a good start. This is absolutely that. And you see, because of the cooler condition, you can see her standing well behind the baseline and just peppering forehands all over the wardrobe on the, on the far end. So uh, she's ready to go now. Side out. Zero, four. Point. And this is interesting because we thought we were going to have One, this match four. starting about 45 minutes ago because of the score line of that last men's semi. Point. Drops it in. And that's what Catherine does, just the balletic movement not wild, huge swings, but pinpoint accuracy. So just being able to figure out when this match was gonna start was a challenge for these ladies. They're like, okay, we're gonna be on in like four minutes and then, wait, what happened Two, to seven four. zero? Point. Three, four. Point. Just like that, calls the timeout, gets four in a row, and we'll see if Mary's gonna play through it here a little bit. She is. Four, four. Nice play from Mary Brosh at the Humana Kitchen. Loops it into the corner. This is the only event that Mary Brasha will be participating in this weekend, so a big run for her would mean a lot. Side out. Love that she was coming forward there and was in good position with the two-handed backhand. Just didn't get enough roll when you hit it that way. Four, and there four. are the sketchers of Catherine Parento with that Goodyear four, soul four. on them. And guess what? Ooh. The Goodyear blimp for the first time ever, it's going to be showing us Championship Sunday. Not bad. We're blimp worthy. We're blimping. Time out receiver, We're blimping. Five, four. Point. Boy, and catches Mary leaning to the left there. Just a perfect drop again, and this is quite Seven, a response. Four. The ball from Mary Brasha, just pulling it outside the reach of Parento. Four, seven. Wow, Mary Brasha just catches the outer edge of the line. Yeah, she got away with letting a lob bounce because you are definitely giving up the kitchen if you do that in singles. And <laughs> just paints the line with a beautiful angle. Side out. To beat Catherine, that's where you need to stack a couple great points in a row, unable to do it there.
point. Serve for Parento. What a run. 10 5. Yep. And two. 10 5. Point game 11 5. Change ends. They're in the zero, same zero. pool as Annalie Waters yes. and Ben Johns, and that match will be on around 2 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Don't miss it. An opening point for Mary Brasha. And that's what the beginning of the match looked like. Mary Brasha finding the angles herself. And when given angles, she took the angles and then passed Catherine with the forehand. So let's see if she can get back into that. She was laughing during the break. So uh, definitely in, in a good headspace here. The question is, can her play match it? Side out. Yeah, just a reminder how the pools were made. Zero, One and two one. were separated, and then three, four, five, six, seven, and eight were randomly placed in the pools. So that's why you could have a one and a three or a one and a four, depending on just how that worked out randomly. And we had a pro one, player present, and that pro happens to be Catherine Parento was there for that. Point. Just didn't want to put one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight in each mm. of the pools. So had a two, bit of randomness to it. And Side Catherine out. has been using these short angles throughout that just rampage in game number one and went back to it there. And that has really opened up the court because Mary does move well, but then that's a farther run than you usually have to because you are both forward and wide Zero, to get all two. the way back. So I like what I've seen from Catherine with that choice. Side out. And this is where Mary's really, and I understand she lost a four nothing lead here, but she's got to throw that away and go, I would love to have another Zero. four nothing lead right here. Let's go earn it. Ball on the sideline might have been a little bit wide yeah, for she's, Parento. And you mean Mary's yeah, two Mary's in the backhand volley, the yeah, side. down the line. Oh, okay, it so was okay. Did, yeah, that call that out. Zero two. Yeah, that backhand, two in a backhand volley. She's pushed it into the net a couple times and then just wide there and good opportunities. Point. One two. That is such a good shot. Hardest shot in tennis or pickleball is the two-handed backhand or one-handed backhand down the line at the full extension. You're going over the highest part of the net. You have your opponent moving in and to hit that that well by Catherine, that's really good. Wow. Point. Both directions. And I would love to see that serve again if the truck can pull it up because she went for a slice serve down the line that will run away and make Three, you hit two. a backhand return. So if we can get a look at that, I'd love to. Wow, and this backhand is on fire. That is a great shot. And again, not too high. There you see the forehand. That serve, Four, look at that two. kick away. I really like that. And then set her up, so we'll keep an eye on that. Point. And Mary is unfortunately for her five. in this entire match. Mm, 
sideline to sideline. Parento Side saying she might have called that one out. She had a, had a look at it maybe. Yeah, and that's, Two, that's tough. That was really close. Side out. Gets the ball right back though. That's one of those where Mary knows that maybe Catherine's just a little off thinking about that. That's where you'd want to make her Five, play two. another shot here. Point. Again, using short angles, some spin. Really like the variety in Catherine's game here today. 6-2. Side out. Talk about the difficulty of tuning it backhand up the line. Man, Mary, that was perfect. Certainly capable of a run. We have seen them all day, but she's got to go now. 2-6. an incredible ATP from Mary Brasha. How did she hit this? And you almost never get an ATP when you're coming from the baseline. But she most certainly did because Catherine's been using all these short angles. So I see your short angle and raise you an ATP. That was impressive and now gets a missed return. A bit of life from Mary Brasha. You can hear a fan club in the crowd. And maybe the fan club in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, that's rough to miss that serve in the net. Again, we talk about going for your serve, but that means deep Six, depth, three. pace. Oh. Oh. I mean, that's outrageous. To be able to take that off your Skechers shoe tops and throw that into the kitchen. I mean, this is, and watch how just everything she does just is, it's so graceful. And that Seven shot right three. there is not easy to execute at all. Side out. And I like when Mary is aggressive and presses the pace forcing Catherine to have to pass her. Three, seven. Can't she set herself up here? Catherine Parento taking over. What a beautiful shot. Yeah, because Mary tried to sneak attack there and sort of a delayed approach to the net and Catherine read her like a book seven, right three. there. And Mary having a conversation with herself. She put herself in time out there for Three, a second, seven. but uh, that's sometimes what it takes. You got to just, there's no one else to ask. <laughs> wow, a little punch up the line off a not very good drop shot, unfortunately, for Mary there. And then if you do put the ball there, you've got to cover down Seven, the line because that paddle position can't possibly go cross court. Oh my, Catherine Parento just throws the paddle out and barely catches it. I mean, how in the world did this go over and then land in the kitchen? Eight, three. Point. Timeout receiver. Insanity on the side of Cap. Time in, 9 3. Side out. Side 
I mean, just a smart little punch down the line, flat. Mary's trying to come in behind a ball that bounced in the kitchen. Just can't beat the Nine angle. Three. The length from Mary Brasho yeah, finds she, the corner. She's one of the best in the business of moving and able to put topspin while on the run on a ball that's around her knees and get that deep and in the court, running away from Paranto. Terrific Three, from nine. Mary right there. Side out. Another defensive lob that has paid off here this afternoon and into the evening here. Nine three. Point. And again, a smart volley. If you put that all the way back to the baseline, Brasha can run that down, cut it short, clean winner. Match point for Catherine Parento. Ten three. And she'll get it. Catherine Parento will meet Annalie Waters in the finals. We're with Catherine Parento, who has landed in the finals this Sunday once again. Talk about the journey there. Yeah, it was just, it was a rough first uh, match. I played Yana, and then I was down, I think, in both games. But anyways, I had to fight through, and uh, I was happy to get first out of the pool. And then I had to play Mary. It's never easy, so I knew she was not going to give up any, at any moment during the match. So I just had to stay focused and, and hit my shots. Well, you're one of only a few players who qualified for all three divisions here at the finals. How proud are you of that accomplishment? Yeah, I'm very proud. I know I'm getting a little older. I'm 29, but uh, uh, no, but I'm just trying to, you know, stay healthy. I think that's the, the key, you know, to recover and just stay healthy and try to, to do my best at all three events. I, I'm pretty proud of it, yes. Well, another day, another tournament, and another final with you and Anna Lee facing off against each other, and you had such a battle at Nationals. You almost came away with that. What did you take out of that and what will you take in to Sunday? Not to put too much pressure on yet. No, I, um, it was hard for sure. You know, I didn't really sleep very well for the next few days after that. Uh, but I'm looking forward to, to play her again. I mean, she's an amazing player, obviously. And then I think we're just going to have a lot of fun on Sunday. And hopefully I can get the W to finish off the year. Absolutely. Congratulations, Catherine. Mish, take us away.